Hey Libras, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is your March 2022 reading to see what is going on for you in the month of March. So this will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. If you'd also like to apply it to your North Node, your Jupiter, your Saturn, um, whatever works for you, however it resonates, apply it, okay? Um, Libras, this can also resonate for those that are connected to Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. So if you're a cross watcher and tuning in, this will resonate for you as well. All right, keep in mind, guys, these are general messages, may not resonate for every Libra. Take what resonates, leave what does not. You are starting your month of March with recognition, okay? You're in the limelight here. All right, what else do we have for Libras? Okay, um, trust, okay, trusting. I feel like this is trusting your path, okay? Some of you may be doing something that requires a lot of confidence and a lot of courage. I'm picking up someone who's del de uh, delving into modeling, delving into something where you are stepping out of your comfort zone. So it feels like you have to trust that this path is going to lead you um, where you want to be and decisions. Okay. So, um, let's take a look at why you guys showed up with these messages. I do feel like, um, there's some hard work, um, something that you've been working on here that will get some recognition. This is even for those of you that are doing like a corporate job, right? And, um, you know, you're like, I never get that promotion. I never get employee of the month. I feel like this month, you are going to like your picture is going to go on a wall or something. There's something here about people. All eyes are going to be on you. So why is recognition here for Libras? Okay. Um, a lot of you also could be looking good right now, right? You, you're getting in the gym or you've been in the gym. Why is recognition here? It's the seven of cups. Okay. So, um, I do feel like there's some online activity that's starting to expose you a little bit more. Um, I feel mainly in a positive way, right? Um, some of you have recently posted new pictures, maybe seven, and you're waiting for like, um, a talent scout or somebody who has some connections to reach out to you. Okay. So some of you may get an agent or a manager this month when it comes to your talents, especially if you're online with it and you are um, in some sort of, 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 of industry where it's about entertaining or branding or marketing or something. So um, yeah, I feel like um, there will be some people that will present themselves as here to help and they won't be. This is illusion. So you will have to vet everyone thoroughly here, but I feel like because you're going to be getting so much attention, yeah, you're going to bring in like some, some people who are not genuine, but there are also going to be people here that are going to contribute to your success. So it feels like there's going to be a celebration of some sort of job opportunity, some sort of something takes off. Okay. Um, something takes off as far as recognition. I feel like there are good times ahead for you. Something to celebrate here. Temperance, you've been, you know, working on this for a while, right? Something you have put your heart and soul into with temperance here, right? Maybe you felt like you didn't have the right formula for your business. You didn't have the right formula for your product for yourself. So I'm going to, you know, take a little bit of this out and I'm going to throw a little bit of this in. I feel a perfect formula, okay, um, for those of you that are working on like a food business, a scent business, a candle business, something like that. There's a perfect formula um, that you're about to uh, be celebrating um, because it takes off. What is this three of cups? Also, there could be a reunion with somebody right? Somebody notices you online. You're looking good. Um, let's see. This is three of cups, the two of swords. So the second I mention someone, the two of swords comes out. You guys know that's my red flag card. The five of wands kind of confirming that if there's anybody who's coming back for a reunion, it does feel like it's going to be something short lived. This person doesn't feel like they're a long term person. They actually feel like they're someone that you may not want to get involved with at all. But I'm going to see why this two of swords is is here okay all right so this person is going to be very persistent all right they they like to talk they like to talk to you specifically they want some more um communication with you so i feel like even if you're trying to ignore their text even if y'all have blocked them they're gonna find a way social media could actually be the way that they reach out to you all right um some of you may have been trying to keep yourself hidden from this person um they find you in the month of march what is this eight of wands here 
Um, what is this Eight of Wands about? The Hangman, okay? Some of you could have had a Pisces, all right? It does feel like this person may be married or may be connected. They're a King of Pentacles, but I feel like the energies that they're showing up for you are not King of Pentacles energies. They're actually feeling like they're a Two of Swords Hangman. They're somebody who, when it comes to you, they're very indecisive and unable to make decisions. So I feel like you've been enlightened on this person, right? And a part of you, um, what you're realizing is that it's time to surrender, that this just may not work out with this person, right? I'm going to release this, right? But you still may need, you know, somebody needs some more proof, <laughs> you know, eight of wands, maybe the next couple of conversations, you're going to go, yeah, I don't think you're for me. Let's see why this hangman is here though. I want to get one more on this hangman with this recognition. It is the magician, okay? This person is a master with their words. They're very good at how they speak to you. Um, they are very good with flattery. So if they're recognizing you in that recognition energy, they're going to say something that's going to compliment you. They may feel like you're shallow and you'll accept any compliments um, along with some sort of interaction with them. This person is banking on the fact that, you know, something that they say will get them close to you. Um, so I do feel like there's something here with that two of swords of about um it may be best not to even you know talk to them to, to stay ignoring them or something like that and everybody has to make their own decision but specifically if they're a pisces aries scorpio gemini scorpio gemini yeah virgo possibly um maybe they are just um pulling your strings here and they're not in, they're not genuinely trying to reconnect for nothing but you guys because you are glowing and looking so magical this person is going to be drawn to you trust all right so why do we have trust for libras here what is this trust about what is this trust about i have the emperor okay so i feel like there is need there's a need for you to let the universe know that you've learned your lesson and you're passing this test because there is someone here that's coming up, that's coming in for you, possibly an Aries, but definitely somebody who has a boss mentality, somebody who feels mature. Why is this emperor here with trust? It's the queen of swords. They may be divorced. They may be going through a divorce. Someone here may be connected to somebody who will be going through a separation or a marriage when you meet them. However, this person is looking for an empress, right? They feel like they missed the mark with their person. They feel like they didn't have the right person for them. This, by the way, is a horrible couple. Maybe very smart, very strategic couple, right? Make good financial decisions, but the passion is lacking. There is a conversation, you know, a piece that's lacking. These two people would do horrible together. So I feel like if there's somebody here waiting for someone to divorce or break up with somebody, that's kind of like the best thing to do instead of being with them while they're with that person because it feels like they're actually wanting you empress here and wanting to disconnect from this queen of swords energy they may have more clarity the queen of swords though can also be libra energy right but it does feel like somebody here is coming in for you that's going to be meant for you okay um you know be discerning be that queen of swords energy find out what you need to find out about this person um see if they have any drama any conflict are you you know going like are you dealing with like a child's parent are you divorced? What are you going through, right? Find out as much as you can about this person because they may be what you want, but you do have to trust your instincts and also trust the timing of this, right? If it's not happening as fast as you want, there may be some sort of um, interference in this relationship that's stopping it from happening until this person clears out something in their life. So there may be nothing you can do about that, but there could be someone coming in for you that needs to, yeah, end something first with death. Yes break something off they need to end something tower moment here with the um tower at the bottom of the deck so both of these energies showing up is that somebody here is in a relationship that's falling apart and i feel like you have to trust the timing of this right this is why i can't rush in with this person this is why i can't you know accept their offer right now right i just have to trust that the timing will align when we are supposed to be together but in the meantime there is something that has to have an, an ending or else this fire that they're going through this drama that they're they're dealing with right now will encompass you as well and you will be a part of it right and so in order to keep your hands 
hands clean, to stay out of the mess, to keep away from the karmic um, energies. There's something about letting a relationship fall apart first before you engage. Why is the death here? Some of you do have a Scorpio. You're connected to us, the five of cups, right? So there's somebody here. I feel like you want that you can't have them right now. Okay, um, you can't have this person right now. Death five of cups is also with this trust is that there could be some sort of um, because the five of cups is about mourning. There could be some sort of loss here that you experience in the month of March. So I do feel like there's going to be a need to um, give yourself a grace period um, bef before dealing with anyone. It feels like you're going to need some time to yourself. It feels like you're going to need some time to mourn something to um, accept the loss of something here. It doesn't have to be a person, right? It can be a situation, but it feels like it's a tough situation to release with that five of cups. Um, some of you are releasing a Scorpio, right? A Scorpio who brought a lot of drama to you, but you're stressed out, you're tired, right? For someone there is, just because I have this energy here, this 10 of wands, there's an older relative um, who the family is fighting over. And there's something about you not involving yourself in that drama, right? It may it may make you sad. It may be something that you need your friend's support for, but there's something about not going into the fire of the family drama um, for the sake of this person, this older person, Ten of Wands here. All right. Um, who feels like they have lived a very long, experienced life and, you know, that would just add to their stress, knowing that their loved ones are fighting over them. So decisions, okay? All right, Aries, I mean, Aries, please, uh, Libra, why do we have decisions here for you in the month of March, the two of pentacles, okay? So there are some financial decisions that you will have to make in the month of March. I do feel like you guys are making decisions about your business, whether to throw more money into it. And then there is some sort of life event that could come up and you have to sort of balance your budget. Um, Page of Swords, decisions. Yeah. Um, Six of Swords. Okay. So... The Two of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Six of Swords coming out with decisions. This tells me that things can change any minute in your situation, all right? So whatever you plan or balance for, things still could change and throw you off with that Page of Swords energy. So I do feel like preparedness is something that you want to have. You guys know your situation, right? You already know what you're currently going through. And so what I would say about that situation is it's about to, you know, a decision is coming where you're, a, a decision making period is coming, right? You can no longer sit on this. And so the six of swords tells me that um, it does feel like you could be leaving something behind. There could be something that um, is no longer serving you. Yeah, judgment here. There's something that's no longer serving you that you end up leaving behind after a judgment or after some sort of change. The four of pentacles here. Um, money could be tight in March, right? Not because you're broke or not because you don't work, right? I see that you do. And like I said, it feels like you're expanding your business, expanding your brand with the eight of pentacles, but something I feel unexpected is coming in that is going to, um, have you having to put money out. And I do feel like with this four of pentacles, you have to have some for yourself. Okay. There's a situation, a judgment, a, a tower moment, a life altering event that is coming in that you are going to have to either have saved up for, or you're going to have to put some money away for yourself and to cover this situation. Okay. Um, so I want to grab one more for you guys. Let's see what we have for Libras, the month of March. What do we have for Libras in the month of March? I have Voyage. You already have all of the answers, okay? So I do feel like for those of you that resonate with this Queen of Swords energy coming out, you already know, okay, that someone is not for you. You already know that there's a soulmate energy coming in that you've been manifesting, right? There's no need to hold on to a past person. You already know um, to stay out of the drama when it comes to a family situation. Um, somebody could be sick. Somebody could be going through a lot of stress right now. And it feels like you having all the answers may have people wanting to come to you, may have people leaning on you, relying on you. And you're going to have to be very sort of selfish with your energy the four of pentacles right it's like something happens and everybody runs to you or you're the person that people are used to going to for their solace and their peace of mind and there's something about you have to save some for yourself 
You just have to. So you have all the answers, but um, use them to help you in your situations first. All right. And that can go for money. That can go for decisions. It's almost like put yourself first in whatever decision you have to make. You know, there's somebody who's a player and they're coming back and they're looking nice and they're talking nice, but you already know what they're about. Put yourself first, right? Weeks from the, from the time they come back, you don't want to be like, when are they going to call me back? When are they going to text me again? Right? So you already know what to do. All right, Libras, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.